Hello and welcome to Betfair's season previews. Right now we're going to talk about the Western Bulldogs. They finished the season with 12 wins last year. Made the finals but lost to Fremantle in the second elimination final. Another player they lost was Josh Dunkley. He's gone. He was their best and fairest winner but he's gone up to Brisbane. Breakout players, Harry, who are we thinking? Uh, I think Jamar Hagen will have a breakout year. Um, he had three goals in the preseason match um, and you know since he's joined the doggies as the number one draft he sort of hasn't lived up to these expectations um, of people you know making the comparison between him and Buddy. Um, he's shown glimpses of it in that game last season where he kicked that 60 meter goal from the boundary um, but I think that this year is going to be a breakout year and he's going to kick a lot more goals up forward this season. Yeah, good call, Harry. And you look at the acquisition of Rory Lobb to the side from Fremantle. He's obviously that big forward. Uh, Aaron Norton's obviously their number one and one of the best forwards in the AFL and he'll take the, uh, the number one key defender. So it profiles for Jamara Eugle Hagen to potentially step in and, and have a really good year. What do they do with Sam Darcy? He's obviously had a fantastic preseason so far, but will he play forward? Will, we, will he play back? Uh, who knows? We'll have to see uh, what their coaching staff do. But let's go over to best and fairest Smokies. Have you got a, uh, a player you're thinking in that area, Harry? Yeah, well, I originally thought, you know, that the Doggies, it was quite possible this season that a lot of games will be won off the boot of Aaron Norton. Um, however, the Doggies, they seem to follow this trend of um, awarding the Charles Sutton medal for the best player of the year to a midfielder. Um, so, you know, obviously the Bont, McRae, Libba, they're all going to poll plenty of votes this season. Um, but I'm actually putting, uh, predicting that Adam Trelaw is uh, going to take the best and fairest home this season. Yeah, you know, he had that salty exit from Collingwood in 2020 and he's He's really trying to show that he's worth a lot more value than, than they gave him. Um, and, he, you know, last season he averaged 27 disposals, 13 and a half kicks and handballs uh, and 4.2 marks per game. And although not elite statistics, they're still really handy numbers for a midfielder. So I think Trelaw will have a really good season this year and, and, you know, take them to a lot of wins. You make a great point about their midfield group and, and that trend of midfielders winning their best and fairest medal. I mean, you just have a look at it. Marcus Bontempelli is arguably one of the best players in the AFL, and you've got ball winning machine, uh, Jack McRae, Bailey Smith, Tom Libertori, uh, Adam Trelaw, the list goes on. So yeah, there's no shortage of midfield depth, and, and, and I think that's great insight around uh, those top midfielders winning that best and fairest award. But yeah, the Doggies are a really interesting betting proposition in 2023. Have you got a, a betting strategy for them? I have. I really, I really like them um, uh, to back them for the top four and the top eight. Uh, you know, last season, top eight, they were $1.28 on the exchange before round one. And for the top four, they were $1.91. They obviously made the top eight. Um, this season, you know, I, arguably they're a better side, I think. Uh, and they're at $4 uh, on the exchange to make the top four at the moment. Um, so I like a small bet there. Um, but I like a bigger play on them to make the top eight at a dollar at a dollar eighty. I definitely think that's a more honest price for, for them to make the top four. I, as you said, uh, early last season, they were very, very short to make the top four, and I thought that was definitely uh, a price that didn't reflect uh, their side, given a couple of issues that they had, especially in defence. But they fixed some of those with the acquisition, obviously, of, of a basic free agent in, in Liam Jones. So look forward to seeing him back on the park this year. Another one uh, that we've mentioned throughout this preview is Marcus Bontempelli. Look, on the exchange, uh, as Early as about a month ago, he was $17, $18 to win the Brownlow and he shortened to $10.50. So a lot of action happening there from punters on the exchange and something that uh, we should definitely be watching in the first couple of rounds of the season to see whether uh, we should continue to back uh, Marcus Bontempelli or potentially uh, lay off. Anyway, that's all we have time for for this season preview. Make sure you head to the Betfair Hub to see more of our previews of all the other AFL teams in the competition. Gamble responsibly. Call one 858 858